Hello traders, this is Algo Geek and this is an attempt in explaining how Pi software works. Pi is a revolutionary desktop trading platform which works on Windows operating system. So this is the Pi icon you can see uh, on the desktop. So I'm double clicking on this. Let's see how this goes. So I'm logging into this ID. So any kind of password is acceptable, acceptable here. It can be numbers, uh, alphabets, anything. Also special characters, anything is allowed. If at all you don't know the password, you can just click on the forgot password option. You will get the password reset and send it to the registered email ID. I'm clicking on login. It will ask you for the two-factor authentication, which we say as 2FA security questions. So I'm keying in the security answers and I'm clicking on OK. See, uh, now the software is getting logged in. Uh, the beauty of, beauty of the software is also that you will get some uh, code codes, uh, which is regarding the trading related codes you'll get here. And if you're logging in for the first time, this loading contracts for subscribed exchanges, you may get this message for a longer period of time. But nothing to be worried, you just need to wait for the contacts to be loaded. There are approximately about uh, 1 lakh contacts that are needed to be loaded when you log in. So now I'm maximizing this screen. So as soon as you log in, you'll get various options here. If you are uh, used to any other trading platform, the similar options you'll get here. I, I would say better options. So if you click on file, you can get various options like create market watch and load workspace, predefined workspace and change password. These are the important options available here. So what is a market watch? Uh, so market watch is list of securities that can be uh, loaded into a particular uh, sheet, you can say, and uh, you can uh, load uh, the securities. Securities, uh, I mean, to say any stocks or F and O contracts, commodities, currency, anything, uh, based on what kind of uh, account you have opened. If you have opened only uh, trading and DMAT account, you would be seeing equity and FNO contracts. If you also choose for currency, you would get a CDS here using which you can trade in currency pairs like USD INR and uh, you know, Euro INR, these contracts. Similarly, if you open a commodity account, then you can see MCX here. Okay, so it's up to you uh, what kind of securities you want to trade. So now uh, is uh, I have chosen to uh, record this video when the market is not running. That's why you can see the percentage change as you know blank or it's not moving. But if it, if you at all you open the software during the market uh, timing, you would see the uh, scripts changing, the prices being changed. Okay, fine. So. Uh, in Pi uh, software, you can have up to five market watches, which means you can create five lists similar to this. And the limitation is that each list can have 50 stocks or 50 line items. And we can prepare five line items like this. And the beauty of, beauty of the software is also that you can load nifty 50 stocks. So if you go to predefined workspace, and click on NSE and click on Nifty 50. You can load all the 50 stocks which are under the Nifty index. So, what I'm saying is if you log into nseindia.com, which I mean, 
uh, nsindia.com is the one which so you can see the nifty 50 index right so similarly uh, i mean any index will consist of some number of stocks if you say nifty 50 that means it consists 50 stocks uh, in it so similarly uh, you can see the movement of all the 50 constituent stocks if you choose the predefined workspace as nifty 50 here all these are various indices if you choose the indices corresponding uh, stocks will be loaded so i'm going to select nifty 50 here the corresponding stocks will be loaded okay so it gives a message saying uh, default is 50 you need to make it as 250 i'm going to show that in a little while how how you're going to change the number of stocks from 50 to 250 So I'm going to show you how you create one more market watch. See, there is one list here. Now I'm going to create five lists like this. How do I do that? So just press Ctrl and W. If you press this, I'll get one more market watch. So I'm going to re, uh, name this market watch as MW1. And click on Open MW. So you can see now there's one more market watch created. So I suggest that uh, if you want to trade in equity stocks uh, nifty 50 stocks are the best stocks that you can trade in uh, so you can keep one list like this and uh, one more list you can dedicate to the nifty futures or any future contract that you like to trade and one more list you can use for options so i'm selecting fut idx which means future index then i'll select if you want to trade in uh, future contract of a stock, so I'll select FUTSTK. So I'm selecting FUT IDX and I'll select Nifty. So for uh, when we're talking about future contracts on NSE, you can trade at a time, you can trade in three contracts. So I'm selecting now, uh, I have a choice of selecting uh, April, May or June contract. So it's up to me which contract I want to trade in so right now I'm going to choose April contract once I have chosen this I'll click on add the same will be added but again the message is popping up saying uh, you know the count limit has, has been reached so what I'm going to do now is to increase the market watch limit to 250 so to do that I'll go to view click on user setting I'll go to market watch and here you will find script count as 50 I'll change that to 250 okay just ignore the message click on apply and okay I'll again click on nifty 50, nifty apple futures click on add decided so this is the uh, thing about the market watch uh, about this market watch there are a uh, little bit of uh, special features available like uh, one of the special feature available is chart so uh, there are various types of chart requirements for a trader so depends on what kind of trader you are there are swing traders there are intraday traders there are long-term traders so according to your requirement you you would be choosing different time frames right so if I'm an intraday trader, I trade purely intraday, then this is the most convenient uh, option available on the market watch. I'll click on the, I'll double click on the, uh, you know, chart menu, I mean chart header. You'll see the three dots here or if at all the market is running, it will show a um, concise version of, version of a chart. So I'm going to double click on this. It's going to show me the chart of today okay today means the late last working day so that is seventh so if you see uh, you can actually drag to the last I mean the first candle so I'm going to drag it to the 
first candle. So you can see here, uh, the first candle is 915. Please look into the data box. This is the data box, which displays the details of a particular candle. Okay. So please uh, focus on this particular area. See now it is showing 915. So this is the first ever candle for this particular day. You must be aware that uh, equity market starts at 915 and ends at 330. Okay. So there's one more feature in the market watch which is called as predictive close. So this feature will be enabled at 3 p.m. So this feature is going to tell you what is the, what would be the predictive closing price for the day. Okay. Fine. So this is about the market watch. Let's focus on other features available. So I'm going to choose one more option here. Orders buy order, sell order, bracket order, cover order, aftermarket order. There are many options like order book and trade book. Okay. So I'm going to explain about the buy order. I mean, I think everybody would be knowing what is a buy order window, right? So still I'm going to just give a very brief introduction to this uh, buy order window. Just click or right click, click on buy order window. As you know, uh, we need to just select F1 for buy, F2 for sell, etc. Now we'll go to the order book uh, where just the shortcut for this is F3. And just choose the order book from the drop down menu. So there is pending order, there is complete order. I think some people have confusion on you know what is a pending order, what is a complete order, right? So complete orders uh, will have three types of orders basically. Uh, I mean three status, uh, three types of status you will get. Okay, you see the status here, status column. So there can be only three types of status that you would get for any order under a complete order window. One of them is cancelled order. Cancelled order would be a order you have placed initially, then you modified. Uh, I mean you change your mind. And then you cancel the order manually. That would be one of the reasons. Or it would have been cancelled by the system uh, due to various reasons. This is one status. Second one would be a rejected order. Rejected order stands for the orders which are rejected um, as soon as you place the order. Um, one reason would be due to RMS rejection. Another reason would be due to exchange rejection. So any rejection can be of two types. Either the order is rejected by the exchange or the order is rejected by the RMS. And one more thing is the one more status that you would be seeing is complete order. Complete means you have placed the order. Um, either it can be a stop loss order or a limit order or a market order. You have placed the order and the order has got completed. Pending order it can be a limit order or a stop loss order. You have placed the order and the order is still pending. That means the price has not reached. Either it can be a limit order or a stop loss order. You have placed it and the price has not reached. So this is a pending order. Okay. Now there is one more thing which is a trade book. The shortcut for this is F8. So uh, I think people have confusion on what is a trade book and what is an order book. So I'm going to make it very clear to you with this uh, example also with this video. So a complete order, say uh, you have placed an order for 100 stocks at 30 rupees. A limit order at 30 rupees for 100 stocks. See any order that is getting triggered will be based on the priority basis, right? So the order matching will not happen immediately. It is possible that you have placed for 100 stocks and say it has got executed in five different times. Okay. Order has uh, completed in five chunks. So each order has 20 stocks being bought or sold. So that would mean one order and it has completed in five trades. It means that you have placed the order once, but it has got completed in 
five trades. Okay, so only a completed order can be shown in a trade book, but one it can be one order, but it can be more than one trade. Okay, now there's one more option here that is if you go to positions, you will get admin position. If you open admin position, it is going to show you the M to M or MTM, which is the profit and loss. So you need to refer to this window if you have done some intraday trades in equity or any intraday or carry forward trades in FNO. So I'm going to repeat it. So it is for any intraday trades in equity and also any intraday or FNO trades in uh, carry forward or intraday. Also, if you have done a CNC trade or if you have taken a delivery trade in equity, you can see the uh, status of the trade here also. Okay, But the stocks which you have taken a delivery of or you have already bought some stocks two days or three days back or a week back or a year back, those stocks will not be showing in the admin position. So you need to go to the other window which is position and stock holding. Okay, So stock holding will show you the delivered equity stocks in your account and it will also show the T1 stocks, T1 in the sense, um, see generally, I mean, not just generally, always whenever you buy a stock that is equity stock or cash segment stock, whenever you buy, the delivery will happen on a T plus two day basis. This is the delivery cycle. So if you buy a stock on Monday to the broker's account, it will be delivered on Wednesday evening. So that is the T plus two delivery. So you are eligible to sell on a T plus three day. But till then, on a Tuesday on and on a Wednesday, it will show in a T1 quantity. But once the stocks are delivered to your DMAT account, it will start showing up in quantity. So this is the purpose of the stock holding window. I just click on get holdings and it will show the equity holdings if at all I have it. So there is one equity holding South Bank and there is some other holdings also. It will start showing up. But if you go to admin position, this is for any FNO trades that you have done and any equity intraday trades you have done for the day. And if at all you have taken, if you have, if at all you have bought some equity stocks today or you have sold some equity stocks from your holdings, the, those, all, those orders also will be shown up here. There's one more uh, window here, important one, which is positions and cash position. I'm going to open this window now. So this will show the cash balance for the client in equity and commodity accounts. Um, remember traders that according to the SEBI rules, you need to maintain separate margins for equity and separate margin for commodity. There's no cross margining available. So if you, if you want to trade in equity, FNO, currency, and uh, index and uh, stock future and options you need to pay in or you need to transfer from your bank account to the equity account but if you want to trade in commodity like you want to trade in crude oil futures or silver futures or gold futures or nickel mini any of these sort of contracts which are traded on mcx then you need to pump in money to commodity account all right so in this, I'm going to uh, share a little bit of details. So this, whatever you see as a total margin, this is the opening balance for the day. Okay. Uh, so this is going to remain the same for the whole day unless and until you transfer money through NEFT or RTGS modes. Pain, this is the amount that uh, will be showing up if at all you have done to the instant payment that is if you have gone to funds and clicked on pay in if you are choosing to pay into this option those funds will be shown in pay in uh, column okay now margin used this is the margin block for the future state that you have taken 
plus or minus the MTM profit that you have undergone in your future trades intraday or options trades intraday. This is the uh, you know this is the main uh, connection with the margin use column. Okay, I'm not going uh, in detail here, but uh, margin used will be about the margin blocked for your future trades or some intraday profits or losses that you have done in futures and options that will be combined and showing here. I'm not giving you 100% accurate details here, but I don't want you to be confused also. Okay, that's why I'm giving you a very concise picture about this. Now, uh, now the free cash that you see here, this is a combination of uh, a sum of total mar total uh, margin plus pain minus the margin used. So, free cash will be equal to total margin plus pain minus the margin used. This is the formula that will give you the free cash. All right, guys. So, this is the very concise uh, video about uh, the you know the market watch and the main windows which are pertaining to pi for more videos about pi stay tuned